Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about the Glowforge Artificial Intelligence Upgrade, also known as Magic Canvas. Um, today's video is going to be more about how to use it, what to expect from it, and the limitations of it as well. So let's jump into this video. As you can see, here's a real quick preview photo I put together for you guys. I actually cr created this robot and table from these photos here for you, just to show you an example. Um, so I'm going to minimize this and we're going to jump right into the Glowforge user interface here. So as you can see we are now in the Glowforge user interface. What you want to do is you want to create the new magic uh, canvas button. Just click on that here and then you can type in any text you want and it's going to turn it into a photo. So uh, what you're going to want to do is click in here. We're going to just type in the word dog. Um, it does really well with basic information so like the word dog or cat etc and then you want to pick out your art style so let's say you want um, this heroic portrait art style that seems to do really well with portraits and give the best looking uh, more realistic results so I'm gonna just click make magic here it's gonna turn our dog into this if we're not happy with that dog I'm not really happy with that dog we're gonna just click make more magic and it'll recreate it and then you can just keep clicking this until you find the dog that you want um, sometimes it'll create it more uh, better and then sometimes it looks kind of goofy but uh, we can go from there and then you can also edit it from here so we're gonna click edit let's say we're not happy with any of these dogs and we want to put this dog in a tuxedo so we're gonna just put dog in a tux and then we're gonna redo that I'm gonna do the same art style click make magic and uh, right there you can see it put a little bow tie on this dog and then like I said you can keep cycling through until you find a dog that you're happy with or whatever you're creating until you're happy with it um, and then once you find one let's just say we want this dog here you can either download it to your computer by clicking this down arrow here or you can click use image and it's gonna put it into your Glowforge user interface here. So I'm gonna just click use image on this one just as an example. Um, you can use it as is or you can adjust the artwork. So when you click adjust artwork um, it'll let you tune um, tune like the brightness, contrast, sharpness but with black and white photos you're not gonna be able to change too much on there but you can change some of this stuff like this so if you want it to be a little bit lighter or a little bit darker you can adjust like contrast those kinds of things um, let's just say that's good and then you also have the eraser tool here so you can erase part of this if you want um, there's a small eraser and then there's a large eraser here um, and it looks like it's doing some auto filling but it doesn't really look like it's that accurate I don't really like that so I want to see if control Z works nope it doesn't so you'll have to use these undo buttons up top to undo those. Um, and it looks like there's also a crop tool. So if you want to crop off like the sides here, you can crop that off because um, you don't want the black sides there. And we'll just crop it like that. And then we'll apply the changes. And what it's going to do is it's going to upload just like you're uploading an image like you always do. Now keep in mind these aren't true vector files, these are more like PNGs or JPEG files. Um, so it may take a while to upload, as you can see it's taking a while to process. But right there it is. So now it's going to engrave. Now as you can see it's going to engrave as a draft photo. So like I said these are all photos. These aren't true vectors. Um, like um, vector images that can scale as high or small as you want. Um, you will lose quality the higher you go up. Um, so just a heads up on that. So um, now that we got this dog, let's go back into the uh, Magic Canvas. We're going to show you a little bit more here. We're going to click on this um, and let's choose like this uh, super cute category. And let's do the same thing. We're going to do a dog and a tux. And I'll just show you how different categories vary in different art styles. So here was the other art styles down here that we already did. As you can see, this looks like a more uh, cartoonish type dog here. So this one is actually a lot better image and clarity for a dog here than what the heroic portrait is. 
Uh, let's go ahead and create another one in this category. This seems like a cool category for him. So it looks like this dog doesn't have any legs here. So <laughs> like I said, it does throw off um, the images a little weird. And another thing I don't really like is how it cuts off part of like the top of their heads, like in this one here and this one here. Seems to do that a lot with images. So you're going to have to keep refreshing this until you find something that you truly like. One thing that I hope that they do in the future is I hope they let you edit like the current photo. So let's say you like this photo. Um, maybe there would be an edit this um, or edit this magic or something like that button where it'll reload this photo so their head isn't cut off at the top here. Um, or if you wanted like their full body in the picture, that'd be cool uh, if they can upgrade that in the future here. So let's go ahead and show you some of the limitations here. So with more advanced words, so like the word Glowforge, just the, ex the exact word of the company here, it can't process that um, in any of these categories from what I found. Um, so we're going to just go in the same category, the super, super cute category. We're going to just type in the word Glowforge. And let's see what it comes up with. It just seems like it puts out completely random images like this is a picture of like a little girl here um, a little cartoon girl um, if you go back and go to like no art style it seems like this one is the closest one that it'll come with glowforge but it just randomly puts out random machines instead of a glowforge they look like futuristic laser engravers so that's kind of cool um, I kind of messed with this quite a bit and every single time it's always like this futuristic looking deep oven or uh, laser engraver but it's never a true glowforge so you're not going to get that um, exact um, thing out of it here so that's a current limitation um, but another cool thing that you can do for like that heroic portrait um, that seems to work really well like if you type in the word warrior or um, a paladin or whatever you want to do um, you can type in whatever word you want. We're going to just type in warrior. I'll show you some of the results here. So look at the results of that. That is just really cool. Um, really detailed too. Let's go ahead and create another one. I'll show you that. So like I said, this would be an awesome photo here, but it cuts off his entire top of his head. And it also cuts off the bottom uh, portion of his toes and the image here. Um, so that kind of ruins the entire photo and makes this entire photo useless, which which is a, a letdown because it's a really cool design here. Um, but like I said, you can just keep clicking until you find something that you like. Um, and then uh, some of them get pretty cool though. And then you can add you can add more information. So let's say a warrior hold um, holding a sword. And we're going to go with that and see what it comes up with here. So as you can see, here's another cool one, but um, it is cutting off part of the image again. And we're going to create another one here. There we go. That one's at least usable, but it does cut off part of the tip of this sword in the back and then the whole bottom portion here. So if you wanted a full person standing there, um, like I said, that would be where this would be cool if you could re-roll this image and have it redesign the image in a, a similar fashion. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the limitations of this design here. Personally, so far, I don't really find this to be too useful for me um, because most of the images are cut off in different uh, portions of the design. But it may be uh, handy depending on what it is. Like this one may come in handy if you're just looking for like the face of a cartoon character here. Um, so uh, that may be cool. You can get some pretty interesting uh, designs out of this. Like I said, if it really comes down to the art style, what you're looking for. Um, so if Warrior holding a sword works here, if we try it in a, like a vintage storybook, let's see what it comes up with. It may not even look that great. We'll see though. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks like it created a mouse, but that's still kind of cool. Um, it really depends on the style you're looking for, but I don't think it's ever going to truly put out exactly what you have in your mind. 
Um, it's just going to start generating stuff that it has on its own. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. That is the new update for Glowforge Artificial Intelligence. You guys can go through this on your own. Try the different art styles. Um, by far, the my favorite one is this uh, heroic portrait here. Um, and then it's kind of cool to do like these um, colored ones too. So like I said at the beginning, whenever I showed you that um, that cyborg, I think I just typed in cyborg uh, behind a desk. It took me several tries, probably like 30 tries to get the one that I liked. But um, yeah, it does a pretty good job at trying to transcode what you're typing in on certain things. So this one's kind of neat. Um, like I said, you just keep going until you find something that you like. But that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, another thing to keep out on, uh, keep a lookout though, is if you do these colored images, obviously that are going to come out black and white whenever you print on your laser. I just wanted to get that out of there, um, just in case you thought you could print in color or something. You cannot print in color. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the new artificial intelligence upgrade. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Maybe we'll make some future videos on this and hopefully we can see some like reroll items and upgrades to this in the future. The more that it learns, the better it's going to be. I would really love to see a new vector option here. Um, I'm sure they'll do updates to that in the future as well. Other than that, um, we'll catch you guys in the next one.